Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are good today. Uh, we've already had a CTD uh, just on uh, loading up the uh, the simulator, but uh, today we're in Greenland, or we're going to be in Greenland very shortly, and uh, we're going to be uh, taking a look at MK Studios' new uh, Greenland airport, which actually comes out with five airports. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get the webcam in here. Uh, let's see. Hold on, there we are. The uh, so right now we're just waiting for the loading and uh, into the world map. Then we can get our flight. There's yeah, there's five airports. I was thinking of doing just Ford today in the uh, Twin Otter, but. Uh, we we might we might do the fifth one. I'll I'll have it as a contingency plan, I guess. Depending on uh, what time it is, we'll then do the last one. Uh, Cause what I forget how I was planning on doing this, but uh, yeah. Cause I think we're gonna take off from the main airport and then go up. And then come back down and then go all the way back and then get back to the main airport. Hey, Marsh, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, too bad CTD. They're like it, it just crashed, but I, I don't know. Uh, I started it and then I started a little nav map and then a little nav map just beeped at me saying too many. Uh, too many errors with Microsoft Flight Simulator. 
So I don't, I don't know what went on there. A disagreement of uh, some sort. A little drama in the morning, I guess. A drama between uh, programs. Uh, where is my... Oh yeah, there it is. Because I know at some point the... Uh, That's good. At some point, yeah, the focus, the auto focus will come in and then I'll go blurry. All right. Uh, plus here you get to see where it is on the world map. So Greenland, <laughs> Greenland is white, like, cause it's like mostly ice and snow. And then Iceland is mostly green. It's like, why don't you just call that Greenland? And Greenland, Iceland, <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what, what happened there. So this is the airport, uh, BGSF, Kangaroo is the name of the airport that MK Studios sells you. H however, there are the five airports. I think it's cause it's, it's the main one. So we're going to go. To go from here uh, departure yeah we can depart from the runway we'll take a look around anyways and yeah, let's just go here arrival Oh yeah, that's in a Boeing. DHC. It is the Tundra cargo. No, it's a passenger. I think it's this one. Nope. This one, Air Greenland. And we might as well max fuel it. Maybe not the payload, but there we go. All right, let's, yeah, let's, uh, so time on that. Oh, yeah. I think we might skip this one up here, car suit. Let's put the arrival here. Add. And add. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Uh, live time, live, uh, live weather. And I go UGSF to the first one BG want to get on little nav maps I don't even think yeah little nav maps doesn't even have the other airports or actually no they do they do they do it says the departure my arrivals uh, man eat soak Destination, and then we got BGSS and BGAA.
Let's uh, shift up. Brahms, block fuel of 262 pounds exceeds 260, whatever. I don't care about that. All right, let's press fly. Yeah, Twin Otter. This will be uh, nice and Nice and fun. And then talking about fun, tonight is uh, Military Hops World Tour 2.0, uh, part four in South America. I think we're, we might have a fifth part. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I'm just going to bring them down. It's it's louder inside the cockpit than it is outside. Uh, let's get the camera I think uh, fly with sun is coming in with an a320 <laughs> good luck wow look at the metropolis here eh. There's not much room for, for housing around here. For some reason, they like to all be close together. This is like a Air Force base. Got some uh, F-18s here. Yeah, so this and some Chinooks over here. So this is made by MK Studios and available on Contrail. 10% off with the uh, with the sizzling deal. Exclamation Contrail will give you the coupon code for anything at Contrail. Even if it's on sale, 10% more. Always with yours truly, Sizzling Popcorn. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the airport markings here. Dude, it's snow covered. What, what do you expect? Air Greenland. And they don't fly to Twin Otter. They they fly the uh, they fly to Beaver and the uh, Dash 8, I think. But the terminals over here. So you got your fire department. I thought this was gonna like a, be a spirit uh, staircase, and I was like, I don't think the spirits here, but no, no, it's just yellow. Go Casantos! Thanks for the sub. The uh, Mitar Figart feet. Yeah, I don't even know which language this is. If this is like a 
indigenous language or if it's isn't Greenland uh, Danish? Wow, I think I think the whole town is here at the airport. Is he uh, is he waiting for the washroom or something? What's going on? They have security, like. They probably don't even have a police officer around here. Ooh, nice, nice gate. Well, guys, we're not going to, uh, to mainland. We're just going to go explore Greenland. All right, let's get to it. Take a little tour of uh, the under the underworld. <laughs> uh, we're going zero nine, so zero nine out, and then flip around. Yeppers. I think uh, everything is uh, ready. Yeah. Yeah, flaps are good. I don't have the right camera angles, but it's fine. Uh, I think they're off, so it should be on now. I said, no, I think that is on. That has to be on. It's just ergonomically correct to do it that way. All right, here we go. A320 is on the Southeast Asia server. It's like there's people that fly over here. All right, uh, flaps retract. Trim up. Yes, I know there's terrain. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Yeah, we're flying. Not sure what stage uh, little nav maps is gonna record me. But hopefully at some time because that's that's why I, that's why I open it up. Help me out here. I have to actually 
just get the uh, get the VFR map. There we go. Has anyone ever been to Greenland? I don't think you go to Greenland unless you're like a scientist. Or you're a snowman. <laughs> or a snow woman, you know. Snow person. If you're a snowflake. <laughs> Trump wanted to buy Greenland. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's Danish. I think there's been like a lot of contention over it uh, over the years. Yeah, he, he can he could buy it and then build a golf course on it. Put his little Trump hotel on there. Try to stay under the clouds. Cause look at this. This is really nice. How they the sun is beaming through the clouds and hitting that uh, patch of patch of grass and the snow. Is what uh, once we go above the clouds, then it's like. All you see is clouds, pretty much. I think there's a connection issue. Well, once it, uh, it had the CTD, the uh, little nav maps hasn't connected since. I saw this video where the, uh, the guy says, if you have a hard time sleeping, for him, he had to listen to like ambient noise. So what he did was he made like about like five different DCS videos of him just sitting, well, actually not just sitting in the cockpit, but just like flying, but not talking. And all you hear is the ambient noise and at nighttime, and he's like, he was able to go to sleep. He was like, hopefully you can too. I was like, what? 
two and a half hours of like, yeah, like a, it's fine, but like to, to go to sleep that, I don't know, probably works. Some people sleep to fans. In my case, I stream to fans. You should, you should say I've got like 50 fans all right here in front of me. This one is my biggest fan right here. <laughs> Even my kids aren't fans. Actually, no. I I uh, I showed my daughter my uh, my new like intro for military stuff. I said, "Who's that?" She's like two. That's she's eating popcorn. She's eating popcorn. That's daddy. Daddy. I was like, what? Cause like the, the logo looks a little different. Like it's it's like a burnt logo. Like not like a burnt popcorn kind of thing. But it's just like it's like it's like a plaque, like burnt. She still recognized it. I was like Wow. Teach him young. And as Marsh would say, you teach him young, just like at Bur Birmingham. In Provo. That's how you link one stream to another. <laughs> All right, yeah, we are going up to the clouds. Right, it looks like it's going to clear up up ahead. back there. And I definitely like these clouds. It's like three little puffs of smoke, right? Hey, right, Marsh? Makes it into a video game. That's what someone said. In a recent video. So it was three pots of smoke.
Where are we going there, Captain? Like there's like a crosswind here. Oh yeah, I'm crabbing. trying to get under these clouds. Actually, this is going to get a lot better with the next uh, world update. Going to get a DM for this. And I don't think the Iten, uh, I don't think the Iten uh, cities are going to be in Greenland. So that is a positive. Is having item cities, it's because of photogrammetry. It's nothing out here. So much so that you buy one airport from MK Studios and you're actually buying five. But the name is the main one. And, and the thing is, is uh, I think it's also because the most detailed one is the one we just left, and it like it's rel relatively small. And then when you add four others, it makes it a little bit better. One vote for a Greenland community flight. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I when I saw this, I was like, hey, Greenland community flight, right there. Uh, because this had like five cities or five airports. But at first when, when this came out, I was like, yeah, I, I didn't even want to review it because it's like, I'm not flying into Greenland uh, just for nothing. Then once I saw it, it was five, I'm like, ooh, this is good. Yeah, I'm like, send it to me. We'll do something with this. 
GL. What's that? Good luck? Good luck, we're all counting on you. <laughs> oh yeah, we if you wanna jump, we can jump. take out a month or year Antarctica community flight and well yeah Antarctica's got that uh, uh, thing there from uh, from Aerosoft I don't I don't think I don't think without the Aerosoft or like what the landings would actually look like with it without them but I guess you you can try without and tell me <laughs> but uh but yeah in Arca Greenland we just were in Alaska last week we're in South America tonight things are getting a little warmed up in South America yeah, yeah, the Aerosoft thing, but there was also a uh, Antarctica. No, I uh, not a world update for Antarctica. <laughs> it's not even a country. Tour of the snowies, the real snowies, not the Aussie snowies. When he said the snowies, then in my, in my head, like, this is how quick my brain, like, comes up with ideas. Because once he said that, the snowies, I, I then thought of, oh, okay, like, the the snotties, like, and then I was like, that's like the, the bad, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, I, I thought about the Oscars and the Razzies, and how I was at the actual Razzie Awards. Which is like the uh, the worst films, the worst actors of the year. They actually put on a they put on a show of skits and stuff. And I think I think that year, Halle Berry won an award, which she uh, she didn't show up. But then there's this guy in uh, in South Sudan. He uh, he got an award for some movie, a like really bad movie, and he sent in a uh, he he sent in a video response to the award, and he was just swearing the whole time in that video. I forget who that guy was. But you can look it up. Razzie Award 2009. Worst film of the year. World Update 13? World Update 13 was... That was two uh, World Updates ago. Because the next one's uh, 15. What was World Update 13? 4... Oh, seriously? Yeah, okay, because uh, uh, Oceania and Hawaii and Antarctica? What did they put there? Did they just dump a bunch of snow and ice? There's a world update.
Is this like supposed to be like falls or something? Because that looks like it's all smudged. On the uh, left side of the screen, right in the middle. It's a dream destination because it's normally it's dark without any sunlight. So they, they just dream that there'd be uh, some sunlight. Probably the same area, okay. Spring now will be uh, summer in a few months. Perfect weather. Sweet. So, uh, Antarctica in, uh, in three weeks. It's so easy to plan this stuff out. <laughs> But just got to figure out what's the right type of plane for it. And what and what stops are we going to make? Because there, there's quite a lot of places that you can go, but what what's the closest together? Yeah. Uh, Yesterday, my, uh, my in-laws were here and uh, they were just in town getting some groceries and stopped by, watched my daughter while wife went to get groceries. So uh, my mother-in-law, she told me like some of the best words I've heard all year. She says, uh, yeah, so Sunday morning we'll come over, pick up the kids. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, because I was like thinking, oh, yeah, 
Wife's working this weekend. What am I going to do with the kids on Saturday? I know Sunday, Monday, we're, we're there anyways. But Saturday, I'm home with the kids. And I'm like, they're going to want to run outside to their neighbors or something. But she like, when she said those words, I was like, oh. So uh, I'll be uh, amped up tomorrow. Definitely be making some videos, but it all depends on what, what, what kind of video am I gonna make? I, Cause like I did some, uh, cause definitely tomorrow I'll want to get into DCS and the Viper. Learn that more. Cause I did dog fighting the other day and it was just like air said it says yeah go uh, do a dog fight you know against a f-14 because they're bigger heavier slow like they're gonna be slower than the than the viper and i uh, i lost all nine of my lives like the first two was guns only and they they just hit me with like one bullet my wing I just start spiraling I'm like alright let's let's bring out the big guns I don't know what loadout I gave them if there was more powerful than me five seconds into the, the scene I already got missiles launching towards me and I'm like so I, I saw a video, some of the worst things you can do in a dogfight is to go towards a missile or towards ammunition. And uh, I didn't have any name tags on. I took them off and I, I just kept getting killed. So I turned them on, finally, I see something. I'm like, oh, yes. So I, I try to get a missile out. And I'm like, oh, it's blue. That's my missile. Like, ah. Uh, but then I, I see at like about two o'clock. I see something red. I'm like, oh, yes. There he is. There he is. I'm like trying to get my gun or something. And I go and I, I'm going towards it. And then as I get closer and closer to it, I'm like trying to fire. And I can't fire. And then I see it's a missile and it's coming to me. Boom, I'm done. It's like, man. Well, like, I gotta go back to ground school. I wish they had a world map like like we do in uh, Flight Simulator. It's a world map. And the, the nice thing with world map, it's not like you need like like 18 discs that you have to insert and, or uh, uh, X-Plane, I think 10 and 11. I don't know what it is with 12, but if you want a certain part of the area uh, of, the, of the world, you'd have to load that in. You can load the whole world or you can load a part. This, you get into the world and there's no loading screen. Like, I'm not gonna get to a certain point and then it's gonna be like, oh, a five minute loading screen. No, you take your five minutes at the beginning and you can go around the world for years if you want. 
We might have some memory leaks eventually, but uh, in the uh, program or the PC crashes. Let's see, altitudes. We're at uh, 5,700. So the airport is two nine and eleven. I'm trying to figure out what I I put us uh, for auto. I'll go on him. Yeah, I want uh, me to. is my my flow menu but I'm not sure what I put for uh, for auto search like we're super close but now we're about like still 40 50 miles out I guess we could I guess we could always do an arc in uh, military hops well we'll eventually go there out of uh, South Africa I think South Africa or India is where we'll, we'll cross over according to Aristotle but that that's going to be next year <laughs> by the time we get to Africa. Because we're on four. Yeah, this is part four of South America. Yeah, so that means four. That's uh, two months in South America.
right now I'm getting about anywhere from 45 to 55 frames per second. The old, old machine, probably like 20 to 30. I'm not sure if that's counting the frame generation or not. Well, that's what's coming through uh, Fly Live uh, Studio. Yeah, a lot of the... Uh, A lot of this water coming up ahead, it's all frozen. Or, yeah, it's, it's mostly frozen. Until we get to the ocean, or whichever strait or channel you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, we can take off the landing lights, but uh, put them on very soon. I just found out, my wife told me this week, she says, uh, yeah, I just went down on the main strip and uh, saw Starbucks is coming. I'm like, woo. It's like, yeah, but you're, you're, you're not gonna go every day. That's gonna be expensive. Yeah, it would be. Cause what I get there is like 750 every time. It's like, so, uh, it used to be like five bucks. Now it's like seven fifty for uh, for a venti. Uh, I get last time. 
uh, pumpkin spice cold brew. Uh, or pumpkin foam? I don't know, some of that. It's, it's the foam cold brew. But what I make here at home, it's espresso, milk, caramel. This is like huge, big ass like caramel bottle. 64 fluid ounces of caramel. I've been using it for like the last two years. It like expired a year ago, but I'm like <laughs> caramel. It just, it does not expire, you know? Just best before. But all I use it for is that, and that's it. And I've got like some, uh, some like syrups, like vanilla, vanilla bean, Irish cream and all that. But those I've, I've never really, like, they taste fine, but it's like, it's just too sweet. That with the caramel. Or you, or you do a couple of pumps and then it's like, it's not sweet enough then you do a little bit more <laughs> or you just pour it right into the cup. It was like about like a, an inch to an inch and a half of like pure sugar. It's like, nah. Oh, there, there I am. Looks like it's gonna get nasty uh, for our takeoff after going down to the next airport. I thought it was gonna be uh, like ocean all the way out, but that's, uh, looks like a mountain range on the other side. That's uh, Sir Sermer Suak. Sermer Suak. So what we're seeing is this over here. I guess. So we're coming into Asiat. Uh, Asiat. Uh, we're gonna be going in the run runway one one. Still don't have a visual. I think it might be right behind. Right behind the throttle. Just under a throttle should be over there, right around the water side. So we're start to slow down. We're we're already down. Yeah, we're down low enough. We're at fifteen hundred.
laid off some speed. So we can get the flaps out. Trying to trim this thing. All it wants to do is put its nose down. Let me know in the chat, what do you think? What's this landing gonna be? How many feet per minute? Not a positive number, it's gotta be a negative number. Doesn't always have to be, but we're not going up a slope. Because, again, like when you look at the map, you see water, but that water's all frozen and snow covered. So, the airport. I think I should. I think the airport should be about 12 o'clock now. It's gonna be tricky. I don't think the landing's gonna be tricky, but it's finding the airport. I still don't see any like lights or anything. So we'll, we'll come in at 2-9 uh, then.
as soon as yeah once it flips over like that it's game over That is, that's the runway right there. Right. You have to tell MK, hey, can you, can you get the guys to clear the runway a little bit? At least like do one pass? I can't even land. So we're going back to the original runway one one. I don't want to stall out. my altitude either. Fair enough. Yeah, it's right there. Now I'm way too high. Gonna go to the end of this patch and then turn around. We got, uh, Ten degrees of flat. So this strip of land that we see in the middle of the ice, we're gonna try to follow that to the end, then come back where it's like very little bit on the left, we'll come back down there. That should guide us right into the airport. But it is... That's one tricky airport to get into. Like, to find it. Like our first airport there... Kanger Lutzwak? Ah, that's easy. Like, even though there's dusting of snow on it, 
but we were also on the ground, so it was, it was fine. This? Yeah. A little tough. I, I, we should have a crosswind for the landing. Let's, let's try turning around. Thanks for a sub. All right. Now we've, now we just gotta get lower, get it down. A uh, sink break. Does that have spoilers? No. We're going full flaps here. the speed because uh, or else we're going to drop from the sky. Angle. Obviously, it's bank angle. Just didn't have enough juice to get down. All right, let's pull her up. Let's go.
Oh, this is the water. get the flaps off what I'll do is I'll just pause it here just pause it <laughs> we'll just continue on well, let's just go take a look at this airport track IR so I'm guessing they've added these little ships here. Yeah, MK Studios would have done that. I bet you that's really nice in the uh, in the summertime. Winter time, uh, not so much. Got a uh, Q400. <laughs> does this thing have an interior? If it does, <laughs> I'd be like completely ridiculous. I don't. I I got a feeling it's a no. Yeah, good. Cause it's like it. It's like an airport out in the middle of nowhere. Like, literally nowhere. But nice. You can do uh, air traffic control around here. Like, tell the uh, the aircraft, Hey, our airport's right here. You just went by it about five times. But, uh... There's my poor little twin otter. Couldn't land here. But, um... Yeah, tell your guys, uh, clean the runway once in a while, you know? And there are papulites, but I think only from the uh, zero 09. Did they even work? Uh, I think it's from this. No, it can't be. It can't be for this side. You wouldn't have the. Uh, it's gotta be for. Her. Change of time. Try coming here at night time. So those lights don't work. And the uh, the the red and white light, that's that's me. I got my lights on. Um uh, I would go back to this. Oh, it's locked. How do I go back to live time? I think this is live time right here. Free. Yeah. So they're, they're an hour ahead. At least on this side. So they're an hour ahead of me. Two hours at a bit of uh, Eastern time. Let's get back to the cockpit uh, and unpause this. Unpause this madness. All right, so our next airport. 
is going to be BGSS. Oh yeah, that and that killed out too. The uh, Fly Fly Live Studio. Uh, this is Laps are completely cleared. We'll try to get this next landing. Trying to trim this out. There we go. That should be good. Maybe not. Oh well. this it, it's almost like you're like flying a RC plane
<laughs> no, no wonder Trump wanted to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. They, uh, DCS, uh, versus Microsoft Flight Simulator video is all of a sudden taking off. And it's taking off in conjunction with the Danger Zone, uh, just to launch the, the short. They're both going off at the same time. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like uh, I, I look. I look at my my stats for forty eight hours, like the number of views, and then I see it's above a certain threshold, and I don't want it to go under that threshold. I'm like, ah. Uh. And then usually, either I put something out that brings it above that threshold, or something just clicks in the algorithm and I go over the I, I stay above that threshold sometimes I end up like falling below the threshold but within a day or two back above that threshold but uh, Marsh you I the clouds look like a daytime aurora borealis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you, you missed the landing. You missed the landing at that uh, first airport. Son of a gun. Like, did I clear the runway in the first place? And then they expect you to land. Can't even find the airport. All right, let's go above the clouds. I heard the higher you go, the thinner the air is, the thinner your head becomes. No, the faster you become, supposedly, or according to Marsh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. But it's nice when uh, other videos are like taking off and you're going live. Cause then they show up, some of these people, they show up in your live and they're like, who's that bald guy with the beard? Ooh. I don't want to watch him. Next. Duh. They're like, no, I, I want to watch this guy. He's flying through clouds. Well, we're trying to get through the clouds right now. Get the pedo heat. I have no clue where the pedo heat is on this. No, don't pothole that. Yeah, uh, parking brake's gonna work. What is this? Made a range test. Okay, we're we're spinning around in circles here. I don't wanna be stuck in Greenland all this time. Bank angle, bank angle. If 
feels like I'm in I'm about to reach heaven. Well, tell you the truth, if you don't believe in heaven, heaven's real, look at that. And if you don't believe in, uh, in UFOs, I definitely saw one down in New Mexico on my way to Phoenix. So check out that stream. What? You saw a UFO? Yeah, dude. It was like, hey, Earthlings. I was like, hey, Venetian. Oh, wait, I'm at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Ha, ha, ha. That's the, uh, sorry guys, that's the caffeine. It, it, that plus my kids make me do, uh, say dad jokes. Landing was Tokyo Drift. No, it wasn't even Tokyo Drift. <sighs> I, I, it was like a, it was like a like a, a prince uh, tribute, but for the the Slu King. It was a Slu King tribute. miles but my map says it's like 108 keep going around in circles it's probably my issue a lot more visible. Yeah, I was going to say, once we reach 10,000, that's when it kicks in what the ETA is going to be. So the ETA is uh, about uh, 35 minutes. Like, yeah, I like this flying between two layers of clouds. So it's clear for you. But there's clouds below. You can even see the ground, but then there's clouds above. 
so you're not getting beamed in by the sun rays. I was gonna say the, uh, or the Tampa Bay Rays. But it, it, is, is that who the Blue Jays were playing against? Let's see. Blue Jays are out again. Pretty much, they made it twice to the playoffs since their uh, World Series, back-to-back uh, -back World Series. I was like back with like Donaldson and Price and then the following year they made it a playoffs and then after that I think they've made it playoffs more so because MLB has expanded the playoff brackets I think that's the only way they because before that they would you would never see them play in October back lined up on the gotta watch out for the bank angle bank angle bank angle gotta change the camera now
Looks like we got a little break in the clouds here. Look at that, we got some snow on the ground. Makes it like, it's almost like a snow dusting. Something's going on. No. It sounded like an alarm. Could be the music. I don't think we're going to get up that high above, so might as well get below the, below the clouds. Hopefully this next airport, we should be able to see it and uh, it's not snow covered. Still got about uh, 20 minutes for it to, to melt if, if there is snow. Oh, this looks like beautiful. It almost looks, reminds me of like a Ireland, Scotland kind of thing. Like the green. Wow. And is that water or is that just shadow.
Yeah, it's uh, just shadowing. Actually, it looks looks like ice. Yeah, yeah, it does. That shadowing is must be from the clouds. Really? Or is it like the uh, satellite imagery baked in? Gonna have to go west or yeah, west very soon, but Sissy Mute is actually uh, 3113. So we could actually come in from uh, from 31. Because I doubt there's gonna be a Mutar here. said let there be snow and there was snow now that looks a little more realistic I don't know about the tree part I don't know if
care. If we're gonna cross in soon here. Terrain, terrain. No way. Actually, let's let's go through this, go back to the ocean, and then come in on uh, one three. But oh, it's 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 gonna get nasty. Christian, this one's for you. We're looking for an adventure here. <laughs> Gonna get a fly in the fog and ho hopefully don't die in the, the fjord. Hey kids, don't do this at home. Going into the storm.
<laughs> uh, seeing some of the new comments coming in uh, on that Tomcat video. <laughs> on rails versus on chaos. They didn't spell chaos right, but I think that's what they're getting to. of smoke making DCS a uh, very cartoonish <laughs> that guy got slammed yeah he got slammed 2008 game versus 2020 game maybe one day you'll start to grow up and appreciate realism <laughs> oh Yeah, three puffs of smoke. It, it, it's not even three puffs of smoke. It's it's actually more than that. But okay, you want to go on about three puffs of smoke? But Microsoft Flight Simulator, there there is no smoke once you take off from the carrier. There is none. Period. So uh, that's that's not realistic either. Some people, huh? Ugh. Like I said, like like people would be at, at the last airport, they'd be like, oh, well, like, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the runway markings here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's snow covered. It's snow covered most of the year. I don't care what the, <laughs> what the, what the markers look like. You, you're never going to have a crystal clear runway in Greenland. Like, it's, it's Greenland. It's not Florida. It's not Miami. But, you know, some people, they, they get very nitpicky on the on the smallest thing that don't even matter. That doesn't change anything. Yeah. Now let's get the camera moving here. Not the plane, but the camera. I think I've got to click back in. Yeah. Now I got to hurry up to click the C button, get back in the. Yeah, there we are. Feel like we're nose up. There we go. Oh, some turbulence.
You gotta be careful, but we're gonna go straight down now. You gotta watch out for the uh, for the terrain. Let's put the uh, Iceland uh, map.
Oh, sound! What? You mean I've been talking all this time? I've been having like a talk show by myself. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't really talking much. <laughs> no explosions? Sorry, wrong video. <laughs> So we're coming in by uh, three one. This is this is. I still can't see. We just went by the airport, so we're not going one three or three one. Looks like we're gonna go one three. Yeah, how how the hell are you supposed to land like this? I guess we're gonna have to go make a change. Oh, wow. Arctic chill. So much better now. The scenery actually looks way, way much better. Might actually be able to see where I'm going too. I'm keeping it on the uh, Arctic chill for the rest of the uh, for the rest of this stream. Looks, this looks beautiful. Because man, like you're going through a blizzard, you can't see anything, and you're going through some mountains. At this point, it starts to get a little weird when you're like trying to control the plane because you got to control it like the left wing is down. So you want to push right. But like, I I know that, but hey, it's just like it's sort of like counterintuitive because it's now facing you. If you look, if you actually look at it, it looks like two eyes and a nose. All right, let's uh, get all the drone mode. Like ray on the water side, so it's. I think it's like right over here. Ten degrees of flap. Hey, you're supposed to put the flaps in the white zone. Oh, I need the flaps to get me into the white zone. This little tiny black strip right here. 
Or is it? No, no. It's right there. Okay, let's just do like the comments say. Go around, go around. All right, all right. Sure. I'll go around. Spin around. Oh yeah, but you take forever. Well, yeah, because you, you keep telling me to go around. You know, people? You get what you ask for. You, you, you want a 30 second landing or do you want a three hour landing? And you're asking for the three hour landing, so I'll give you the three hour landing. <laughs> Son of a gun. Damned if you do and damned if you don't, right? Yeah, but when you when you do your landing, you should be doing it correct the first time. All right, there, F-18 pilot. I'm sure, you've flown an F-18 before. The guy, the guy doesn't even have a pilot's license, and he's like bickering about that. It's like, come on. All right, attempt number two. Oh, I got this at. Let's go. Let's go full flaps. Bang angle. Bang angle. Like uh, MK again, get your guys to clear the runway, please. There, and there's pipe lights on both sides, and they're all white. <laughs> See the runway? I don't even think the pipe lights even work. We make a landing today and not the best one either. <laughs> Thanks, Marsh, for the super chat. <laughs> yeah, but you take forever. <laughs> That's why I don't I don't go around. I just I just go the first time. Like it or not. Woo. How do you say it? The show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's put him perk. Yeah, 
path, but you take forever. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Streamlabs, you take forever too. I read the message like five hours ago. Look at this road. Oh yeah, but the, I don't like the road. It, it goes, where's the parking lot? Dude, it's snow, it's Greenland. What do you expect? There's like three people that live here. Oh, maybe like five, like that, those two people, this person, that's not even a person, it's just a mannequin. Mannequin, mannequin, and four dogs. So three people and four dogs live here. What do you expect? She manages the airport. He's the pilot, and this is the tourist. So really, it's only two people that live here. Like, I bet you there's an interior. Nope. Looks like it. Looks like the exact same airport that we just saw. <laughs> They just spawn it again. Cause the inside here, I think is the same. They just, ooh. How did they get this thing here? This truck, probably like from the Vietnam era. <laughs> But it's a uh, nice area. I'd like to revisit this once uh, Greenland's got the uh, the update. Uh, let's reposition that. Let's go back in the uh, cockpit. And we're gonna take off. Once we take the parking brake off. Actually, I want to go back. I want to see how well, the population should work because now on this side, they're red. Showing that I'm like too low. All right. Uh, flaps uh, 10%. Here we go. It's a, a short takeoff. Flaps uh, re retracted, bank angle, alarm goes off. Too low terrain, everything going off. We're just testing, just testing here. to BGMQ. But yes, this art, art. <coughs> I 
This Arctic chill looks very good. It gives you n pneumonia. <laughs> Yeah, Marsh, I, I, I don't know if you heard it a while ago. Uh, I, I might have been muted, but I looked, got some new comments on that <laughs> DCS versus uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, the the F-14 uh, supercarrier launch. Well, the guy that said about the three puffs of smoke in DCS and that it's cartoonish, that guy just got slammed. <laughs> he got slammed. Uh, comment on that was uh, yeah, a, a lot of people are saying obviously that DCS, the F-14, it's, it's much more realistic. But the one guy that says a Microsoft Flight Simulator 
because DCS is a, is, is a cartoon. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> 2008 game versus 2020 game. Maybe one day you'll start to grow up and uh, appreciate realism. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right. We don't have to get nasty here, but, uh, you know, you can share your opinions. But but on the other hand, saying that the simulator is cartoonish, you're asking for it at that point. Because I, I, I could actually say the same thing with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Like, the guy doing the directing, the, the air boss or boss man, he looks pretty cartoonish on the Super Carrier Pro versus the DCS Super Carrier. Uh, just like, he, he looks like a yoga instructor. Like, just the way he's moving is like very like, fluid and like it's uh, like he's like an elastic while in DCS he looks more like a human and three puffs of smoke it wasn't three puffs of smoke it's just like guy's interpretation of what he saw so uh, his eyesight might not, might not be that great <laughs> if he's just on three puffs of smoke I'm gonna have to do more comparison videos between Microsoft and uh, DCS. It gets uh, gets everybody's uh, juices flowing in the comment section. <laughs> you just sit there and you're like, "Woo!" Don't even have to engage. You just gotta watch the the party and the drama going on. Timeouts. Drama. Actually, it's this is not drama, but look at those mountains. They look nice right now with the sun. But just imagine how they're gonna look like with the new DM in World Update 15. That comes out 
But end of the month, October 31st. See an artifact. Like when I saw that the other night in Provo, it's like the first time I've, I've really seen those artifacts in a long time. And now it's like pretty much two streams in a row. Seeing these artifacts. It's just these spikes coming out of the, uh, out of the ground. Maybe I should get a lotto ticket for tonight. fueled up so I'm not sure where I'm at for fuel let's uh, take a look oh yeah we're at 45 we're good we used up 55 to get to this point yeah we're good to the end On the right side, you'll see Mother Earth's glove. Hey, that's just crazy. Mother Earth's glove. And it even has the shadowing for it, too. Crazy. in about 15 20 minutes
Tuhan. So nice to live here, right? <coughs> live in the snow. Wouldn't have to worry about plowing your driveway. You wouldn't even have a driveway. You just have to rest, make sure your dogs are nicely rested. And you go on your sleigh and <sighs> go around parading like Santa Claus. To who? To nobody else. Become a, like a hermit. You can also do that here in Canada. It, it really doesn't take, take that much to do that here. Six months out of the year, just go live out in the countryside. Ten minutes away from the city, and boom. There you are. Living as if you're living in Greenland. I'm gonna have to tell my wife uh, our next trip, we're booking it to Greenland. Like, who the hell ever goes to Greenland? Other than scientists. And even scientists, like, there's not many that show up here. It's like... Why do they even show up?
are getting uh, closer to what, what is this called? Mani Mani So? I thought it was gonna be like uh, Mani Waska, but no, we're not in Quebec. We're here in Greenland. Uh, Mani So. Population here. Actually, let's uh, let's take a look. What is the population? Population of any so. Well, okay, uh, we'll go with the whole island. So many so. The population. Population is two thousand four hundred and seventy three people. That's a lot more than what I was thinking. And it means uneven place. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Greenland. Population of Greenland. Population of Greenland in 2021 was 56,653. Still a lot more than what I ever thought. Runways here are one six and three four.
Uh, we should be there any moment. So, uh, get back into the cockpit. Start bringing this plane down. I think the airport's right here. Or could be out further, yeah, over here. Six thousand five hundred. Much got it in uh, in idle. Three thousand, or uh, about to cross three thousand. Let's go ten percent. Uh, it's not 10%, it's 10 degrees. Ten degrees. So 20. the throttle and we can make our turn in going into this blindly so Still have no clue where the airport is. Like I know from the map, but I don't have a visual on it yet. We do have these hills, so. But from what I see, it's right on the right on the water. Okay, 
increase uh, throttle. Back to uh, 10 degrees flat. And we're pretty much keeping it level. We're slightly, ever so slightly increasing the altitude. We'll go between the uh, this little island, between the two islands here. That's it. Uh, maybe not. It's because everything's snow covered. Even the runway's snow covered. speed let's go flaps uh, 20 It's going to be on this tip, but should be coming in at one six. Uh, too far away to even read that. Yeah, we're at one six right, right there, right there, right there. Full flaps.
what's the best lane you're gonna get from me in this stream? 332. And I'm pretty sure all the other airports are exactly the same. The tower looks exactly the same. I'm not sure. Well, actually, they, no, no, they. There's a little more to it. I think maybe the. break uh, where do I go for ignition I don't have prop set. There. I think that's how it works. Uh, let's see. But yeah. That, okay, there's a village over there. But to, yeah, to get here, it's, it's crazy. But just like the, the journey to get here, like, it, it, it's just crazy just trying to do this in a simulator. These people have to do it in real life. Like, and it's not just scientists, it's, it's indigenous people living here. Like it's just crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they, it, all three of these last airports, I'm not sure about the original one. Uh, the, yeah, the original one is definitely different, but they've taken this, they plopped it in the three other places. There's no interior. Uh, the flag is not a waving flag, but then they, they just added different things and they, uh, the ramp area and stuff like this one has a helicopter. I don't think the other one's had. So the, yeah, it's a little different from each one. But yeah, look at this. I said there was what, like 3,000? 3, 3,000 people live here? It just blows my mind. Like, even 3,000 people living here. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you gotten to this point? In the replay? Wow. You've almost wa uh, spent three hours, 30 minutes with me. <laughs> uh. Well, that's it for the stream. Thanks everyone for showing up and uh, thanks Marsh for the super chats. And we'll see you in the next video. And uh, maybe tonight, Mill Hops. Military Hops, World Tour 2.0, South America Part 4, tonight. 
check your local listings. <laughs> Or do they fast forward it to the end to see, it? did he make it to the end? But well, that was the best landing. <laughs>